Hey guys, welcome back to NY Sports MC. Wanted to come up with a quick video right here as I just trying to get ready for work this morning and I uh, can't seem to get off of uh, social media and Bleacher Report and things like that. Trying to find out what's going to go on with the Jets head coaching position here. As um, I'm all in on, and I may pronounce his name wrong, but uh, Roberts Salahai Salah. Um, I think we need to uh, make sure he does not leave the building today. So uh, reports from out this morning is that the interview process is continuing this morning. He is going to meet with Christopher Johnson uh, today as well. So that is a very good sign for people who want him to become the new head coach of the New York Jets, that he is meeting with ownership. Um, they need to make sure this guy does not leave the building. If he leaves the building, I can almost guarantee you he will not be the next head coach of the New York Jets as he is in very high demand. And wherever he goes next, they probably won't let him leave the building. So um, I, I'm i very high on him. Um, I have been for a while. I don't know you guys who have been supporting my channel for a while. You may remember. Um, I believe it was one of my live streams towards the beginning of the season or right before the season uh, where we were kind of talking about uh, if the season didn't go well with Gase and we did get rid of him, who might be some people. And I said... Um, several times that if we did not go with an offensive-minded head coach, Robert Salau uh, is the person that I wanted. The guy is intense. He is, a, from all account and purposes, uh, seems to be a great leader for the team. I think it's exactly what Joe and Chris are looking for in their next coach, head coach. Somebody to unify the team, somebody to be able to bring that atmosphere, bring that um, energy to this team uh, moving forward. And I love what you hear about... Um, him bringing in potentially LaFleur as the uh, offensive coordinator, not the head coach from the, the Packers, obviously, but his younger brother. Um, you know, obviously Shanahan is a very good offensive mind as well. So uh, he has been being groomed under Shanahan uh, over there in San Francisco. So a nice opportunity for a young offensive mind to possibly get that, uh, you know, head uh, offensive coordinator spot where, you know, you look at Eric Bieniemy, right? And a lot of the knack on him uh, is you hear that he doesn't interview well, which it, that's just a, a potential knack on him if, if that is true. But the other one is, well, how much of it is really him and how much of it is, is Andy Reid? Uh, Andy Reid does call uh, a lot, if not all, of the plays over there in Kansas City. So for LaFleur, it could be something like that as well, right? As he's starting to build his name and, and try to move up the ranks, well, yeah, you could always get those opportunities. I think Bellamy... Uh, the enemy, sorry, will be getting an opportunity pretty soon, if not this year. You look at this now and say, hey, he gets to get out from under the shadow of Shanahan and really show what he can do because Salah is a defensive uh, coordinator and he's going to be a defensive-minded head coach, even though we're hoping that he is that CEO type uh, if he does come in here, which I think he, he has that mindset and that mentality to do so. Um but now at least they know that he's running the show. So if our offense starts to take off over the next few years, you know he's going to be a, a top, top candidate for a head coaching spot in a few years. So he would put himself in a very, very good position to kind of stand out on his own. So I love the idea of having um, a young up-and-coming person become our offensive coordinator uh, with Salah. So like I said, I, I've said this for a while. I think he brings the right culture to this team. I think it's exactly what we need, and it, it is the best of the options that we have. Uh, Slaw was probably uh, up there on my board, like I said. Um, I did like Pat Fitzgerald and Matt Campbell, but obviously they're not uh, taking any interviews. So it's not like they're just turning down us and they just don't want to be uh, the head coach of New York Jets. They don't want to leave where they're at because uh, they won't interview with anybody. And, and these are people that were probably approached by every single team that has an opening. So... Uh, the thing is now with a seventh team becoming available for head coach in the Philadelphia Eagles, we cannot let this guy out of the building. I believe he interviewed with every team but the Texans uh, and obviously the Eagles. They just became open, but the Eagles have already put in a request to interview him. So he's in very, very high demand. Joe Douglas, Chris Johnson, get this done today. Do not let him out of that building. I'm at the point now where I would be very upset if he's not our, our next head coach as I think he is... Uh, stood out to me um, throughout the process. Uh, and even just like I said, what I've seen from him in the past, I think he is the best candidate for the coach, especially when you hear these options that on who he may bring in as offensive coordinator. People even said he may bring in Kafka, who's a quarterback coach 
in Kansas City. So I, I'd be happy with either. I probably want Lafleur uh, over Kafka because I think Lafleur's just got a little more um, experience in the coaching so far, and obviously his brother's doing very, very well in Green Bay. He comes from, um, you know, he's working on the Shanahan, who's also done really well as well. So I love that lineage there too. Um, so that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think below. Hopefully, hopefully we get some good news on our new head coach today, um, and then we can get moving towards free agency in the draft. But I'm really excited, and I will be even more excited once that becomes official. New York Jets, don't let him out of the building. Make that your new head coach, and I think we're headed in the right direction. We start this offseason on the right foot, in the right direction, with the right culture being instilled into this organization from Joe Douglas uh, and all the captains that he chose and all those great personalities to Robert Salah, who is just a no-nonsense guy, fiery guy, energetic. You see him, you know, like they said, you love a coach that needs a get back guy, right? To get, you see so many pictures of a coach pulling Salah from his sh- shirt, trying to get him back onto the sideline so he doesn't get in trouble for being too excited and getting too far onto the field. So uh, you just love to see that passion and that energy in a coach. So um, he's my choice. Let me know what you guys think down below. And as always, jet up.